Yo, so Nyla, they talk a lot about uh, pillars, things of people, of, of structures of AEW. You've been in AEW since legit the beginning. When they announced AEW, when they're at the pressers, everything, you're there, right there, smack dab. How does it feel to be, what, we're coming up on three years now of just going at it. There's been the pandemic. There's been all kinds of stuff. How do you feel at this moment being there from the beginning? It's it feels great. It feels wonderful to have uh, built something. You know, like mm -hmm. take a look in in your lives. Anybody listening to this, take a look in your lives. When you've created something, when you've sat down mm -hmm. and cobbled something together from the get go, you have such an immense sense of pride. It could be the worst drawing in the world, yeah. but when you show it to people, <laughs> when you show it to your mom, when you show it to your dad. You want them to hang it on the refrigerator, right? Mm -hmm. that, that's kind of what this is. It's like being there from the get-go, building this brick by brick, piece by piece, being a part of that. We're proud of it. Like, we want to show it to the world. We want we want everyone, we want TNT, TBS to put us on their refrigerator, mm -hmm. you know? And that's, that's it, it's, it just fills me with such pride to be a part of that. Dope. And, uh, um, of course, being a pillar of, the AEW Women's Division. Um, you were the second AEW Women's World Champion. You won the belt at, at Cedar Park. Uh, hold on, I didn't pinpoint the date. That was February. Here goes Will with his brain. February twelfth, twenty twenty. And um, of course, you know that uh, I I remember that entire episode of Dynamite vividly, but specifically that match, I, I remember vividly. Um, you and Riho just kind of went out there and killed it and and built upon the previous match, which is one of those things that we, um, here on Grapsity, have been uh, tend to commend you for as a whole, that you tend to build on your previous matches. Because mm -hmm. um, another example of that uh, was the Ruby Soho match you, yep. uh, you had where um, there was the finish, and then um, where she hit, I'm drawing a blank. The No her. Future. Yes, mm -hmm. thank you. Uh, and she, she hit that off the, on you off the top rope, and then the second time around, um, she, you held on to the top rope, <coughs> she misses mm -hmm. it, and then, uh, and you finished her. Because I'm uh, smart. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very, very smart. Is why Research, that. baby. So that, that's exactly what I wanted to talk about. She and did how her no future, as I call it, stupid ass face kick. <laughs> yeah, that, that jacket kept trying to get in the way. It jacket <laughs> time. Man. It was jacket, jacket time. Jacket Man. I, I still have like holes in my hands from all the little pins. <laughs> like, if you go back and watch the match, like I'm, I'm like selling my hand or the whole thing, like that, like that hurt. Like the, mm -hmm. those little tiny pins, just like she's sneaky that Ruby. So I think she did that on purpose. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tighten the sleeve. <laughs> anyway, so when you think about how, when you think about your return matches, is that something that you're, you're very cognizant of, of building upon um, previous finishes, previous spots? Oh, for sure, a hundred percent. It's, a, it's, it's foolish to ignore things that have happened in wrestling. Um, I, I feel it's a big insult to the fans, to the audience to, to do that. It's a bit lazy to kind of revisit something in a way without changing it, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, and, th and there's room to, to com do repeats, if you will. It just has to make sense. You know, that, that's my whole thing is make it make sense. Um, and then that's, that's, that's pretty much it. Like I wish I had a better answer for you, but yeah, yeah like I, it. Uh, I think it's I think it's a very important thing to kind of revisit your past and figure out ways to punch things up because you may have thought of something in the moment. You go out there and hey, it, it lands great, it works out great, but hindsight's twenty twenty, and you're like, oh, I wish we had done this, you know. So down the line, maybe something else to do later. <laughs> 